Casey here with LSX Magazine. We are here at the Blueprint booth at SEMA 2025 with the product of the year for best car and show product. Is that right? Uh, best hot rod product. Best hot rod product. Okay. Which right, is well, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have a 376 cubic inch LS engine here, 500 horsepower, 440 torque. Tell me all about your baby here. Well, the cool part about this, this engine, it comes with our version of a ZF transmission installed on it. So this is a factory new ZF transmission that we work directly with Zeta for. Okay. And it's about a two year prod project where we actually had engineers from Italy come to our shop and teach wow. us how to calibrate for that transmission. So okay. it's really, an, it's all OEM kind of great stuff. Mm -hmm. Eight speed transmission, we developed a shifter. We found out after we had the transmission done that nobody had a shifter that we could buy. So we had to, <laughs> so we had had to, to, go, we had to go to a shifter manufacturer to make one. It's a nice shifter. Here's the wonderful part about it though. You talk about an electronic transmission, no linkage, right? It's like kind of spooky and kind of scary. Yes. But the yeah, reality absolutely. is you just plug the cord into there and you're done, right? You can mount this anywhere that, where that wiring harness will reach to. It's super simple. The transmission is done. It's ready to go. It's, it's all ready. bolted on. Unlike our competitors, we don't ship out into the transmissions in five or six boxes. Uh, we literally on. bolt it all on at our factory and it goes out in one piece. Wow. Headache free. Headache free. <laughs> so you get, you get the LS and you get the transmission. Um, as awesome as the ZF is, let's, let's work our way back there. What do we got going on up here so with this LS? Is, this is our version of an LS3 style engine. Mm -hmm. There's virtually no GM components in it, so we can't say it's a GM engine or say it's an LS3 because that's a GM. Gotcha, okay. We, okay. So we say compatible, but what that means is interchanges, parts are interchangeable. We've got our cast aluminum intake manifold on here. Mm -hmm. Very nice manifold, super awesome performance. Uh, our LS style block, or an iron block, it's an awesome example of a LS style engine. Do they come, do you, do you get to, can you custom order a horsepower level with these at all? Or is this kind of what, what you get? My competitor has three different horsepower levels. Uh -huh. 430, 480, 520 or something. Yep. We only have one. And I think it's about 510, 515. 510, yeah. Okay. I have to look at the brochure. Yep. Because uh, there's really, and, and then my competitor has different prices for each one, uh -huh. but it's all the same parts. So yeah. we just said, no, let's just make one version, make it over 500 horsepower, keep the price point low, go hit the market. When we develop these parts, intake manifolds, block, heads, we'll spend about a million dollars on tooling for the foundry to make these parts. Gotcha. So okay. we want to okay. make sure that you we guys have really some, go above and beyond with it. And, and we need some volume. Yeah. We're not the one-off guys. I love the one-off guys. They build beautiful, spectacular things. Uh -huh. But we want to build the same thing and uh, use the same components and have great similarities between one product and the next to make sure when we run it on the dyno we know exactly how much horsepower it's going to make yeah i was seeing you guys dyno test everything in house 500 horsepower with a 50,000 mile warranty yeah that's that's awesome that's that right there alone would, would make we, it we, i see on uh on some of the threads people argue about whether we dyno test everything in house uh -huh. it's like you can't do that and i was like yeah we really do yeah, yeah. We, we have five production dynos and mm -hmm. we run 10 hours a day and we make sure the engine isn't leaking we make sure it makes power we make sure it comes up the temperature right we check for vibration so we're doing a reasonable test and we don't dyno tune them yeah because we don't know where you're going to yeah. live right yeah. So a carbureted engine is going to need tune based on elevation. And then do those dyno sheets go shipped out with the, the engine? Act, the actual engine you get, you get the dyno sheet that came mm. off of that run. Wow. It'll that, tell you the day and the time and the temperature and mm. what the parameters were and how you did. Gotcha. Uh, now with the ZF, what made you guys want to go ZF? Other than everyone just using them, what is so special about it that made you guys really want to hone in on that? So number one, the primary choices in the aftermarket are typically used or rebuilt transmissions. Uh -huh. And a lot of times they're upgraded. And we, we sell those engines. We have great vendors for transmissions, but they are rebuilt performance transmissions. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to have a new transmission. And quite honestly, we were afraid we were gonna outgrow the supply, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're using a 4L or a 700R4 or whatever, eventually they get hard to get because the cases are all broke, yeah. the parts yeah. are not available. So we didn't want to have that problem. And uh, so we're transitioning from remanufactured performance mm -hmm. transmission to a brand In -house. new house. Yeah, to a gotcha. brand new transmission. And eight speeds, 
the market doesn't really want four speeds. Yeah. They want eight or ten. Yep. And CF has a great reputation. You know, all those Stellantis vehicles mm. that they built in the teen years uh, all had eight-speed ZF transmissions in them. Yeah. So they're a great transmission. Our housing is different, but the guts are the same as what was in gotcha. the Dodge are you, Demon. Are you limited with horse? So this is 510, 515 horsepower, you're saying. Is is this case good for a higher limit than that? If It, it does have limitations, mm -hmm. but... Uh, they're super conservative because their limitations based on the idea that you're going to make a hundred thousand of these engines and transmissions yeah. and they, you never want one to fail. So yeah, we have a higher rating and we will bolt this behind the 427 uh, okay. LS style engine. So yeah. uh, it's probably not the way it's configured here good for a supercharged engine. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case we would probably actually just upgrade this unit mm -hmm. so we'd have a brand new transmission that we put a little better stuff in. Yeah, but still keeping that ZF. Yeah. Gotcha, okay. And it's all run by one uh, ECM, and ECM controls the engine, controls the transmission. Uh, it's a little bit of a proprietary ECM because we needed to be able to run this transmission. Uh -huh. uh, we're working with HP tuners to give access to it's our customers. It's a great name to work with. Yep, uh -huh. so they're creating a portal so you can get in and do some calibration work on our ECM and make mm -hmm. that drivability just perfect. Right? Gotcha. Yeah, absolutely. But it doesn't, it's as close as we can get it. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, no, we literally I mean, have, you know, probably 5,000 miles on this setup. And yeah. And wow. calibrating it with a laptop in the yeah. car. Okay. So it's really, it, but it, it doesn't need, work it doesn't need try to try Most people will be able to install it and just never touch yeah. it. Yeah. Gotcha. No, I mean, I mean, again, for this price point, you get, you know, turnkey engine, transmission, and a 50,000 mile warranty. Something that you just don't see these days. Um, I mean, mo most great engines that you buy from other competitors and stuff, you get like 30 days to keep that warranty, and yeah. that's about it. So, so 50,000 miles is uh, pretty impressive. So, we have a lot of repeat customers, and our customer service goal is really ha is simple: uh -huh. make the customer happy. Yeah, and, and that's I, what we try to do. Yeah, uh, it's very, very noticeable here. Is there anything else we should know about this, or? The product is developed. We will be shipping these before the end of the year. So we're wow. taking we're orders on right them around the corner. At, we're taking orders on them at the show. This uh, engine here with with the front drive mm -hmm. is nineteen thousand nine hundred ninety nine at the show. Okay. With the transmission, without a front drive, it's seventeen nine ninety nine. So awesome. its the price point is fantastic. Yeah, that compared is to what else is in the marketplace, and yeah. that's because. We want to get these going. We don't yeah. want to spend three years having people slowly find out about it. Yeah, we're willing to make less money and let's get some volume going on it. And get them in the marketplace. Gotcha. Do they do? Can they keep that nineteen thousand price point if they say they watch this on LSX? <laughs> you can do anything. <laughs> gotcha. It's it's fine. Perfect. It's fine. Check back for more with uh, Blueprint. This is a crazy price point and uh, even insane options here. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys later.